Oh, oh. All these lava rocks are going inside of here. This is for monster fish. God. How big is a fish tank, bro? Monster. Ready? Moment of truth, you guys. Cool. I'm putting my hippo inside the water. We're here. What is up, Ranch fam? Welcome back to another video here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. So we have some crazy, exciting things happening here on the ranch, and the biggest thing is I passed this permit that I've been working on for a very, very, very long time here on my ranch before YouTube, before everybody, and now I'm able to show you guys what this amazing permit is gonna be able to do here on the ranch. And first off, it's gonna be for some type of fish. I'm not gonna say what kind of fish they are, I'm not gonna say anything like that, but what we're setting up first is this awesome, 350 gallon tank that is right here and it will be going indoors into my house so this tank is freaking massive you guys i could literally lay inside of here and probably do like donut circles in here death rolls inside of this thing this thing is huge but first off what we have to do is we have to set up a whole filter system plumbing this that that this i have the whole stand done inside of my house but first off we have bulkheads inside of here we're gonna have overflows and we're doing a very large sump system this tank is only going to be a grow out tank because the fish that I'm putting inside of this tank will become river monsters one day. You got pond monsters, humongous fish, and it's gonna be insane. I'm going to be able to show you guys this awesome experience here on the ranch. In order to get this system going and everything, I'm going to show you guys how I set up my filter systems and we're gonna go over there right now and I'm gonna show you the whole process of getting everything done. This thing right here is a giant container. This is a 64 gallon container. And this is gonna be the system, the sump that I use for the 350 gallon tank. So first off, I have a lot of lava rocks that I'm using for the biological uh, media for them. And that's gonna be right there as you guys can see. So I'm keeping it all on this section over here because I'm gonna use this plastic container right here. And I'm gonna shove it down all the way in the corner, move the rocks more to the side and my filter to suck up the water is gonna be inside of there so the rocks are not in the way. So that's gonna be all rocks there. It's like a very crazy system, you guys. And then I'm gonna throw more rocks inside of here. So it's gonna be like this, it's gonna be stacked up. So what's gonna happen is the water's gonna overflow and when the water overflows, it's gonna come through here. When it goes through inside of there, it's gonna go through all the rocks and get cleaned up very, very well. Go down into more rocks, get cleaned even more and then the water's gonna fill up right into here and get sucked up into the pump and go right back over and recycle and start all over. I will show you guys exactly putting it all together and the whole process of setting up this awesome monster tank. We're going to the hardware store or Home Depot real quick and we're gonna go get a little bit more plumbing and stuff so we can connect everything to the sump. So follow me along you guys and I will see you guys in Home Depot. This tank was drilled four holes in the glass. I only, need, I only need two of them. So I need this one here and there's one over here in the overflow. There's a smaller hole here and a smaller hole over there. I'm gonna plug those up, silicone them so that we don't have to use those at all and they'll be out of the tank. Well, just closed up and we'll be good. And attach everything else, just follow along. You guys will see you at Home Depot and yeah, just follow along. You got her. God, God. How big is the fish tank, bro? Monster. So the reason why I use styrofoam is because when the tanks are very heavy, or crack it's on wood. So you use these things, they don't crack. So that's why you gotta buy styrofoam. Got it. Hey Blake. You think we fit this in the car? We got it, don't worry. Oh. Yeah, right, bro? Huh? I'm good. All right, guys, we just got back home from Home Depot and we got this 100% silicone that is water resistant and it will last for a very long time. So that's why I got it for the tank. I have not filled up this tank, so I'm not sure if it's gonna hold water. Hopefully it does. And what we did is we got the silicone and did all the corners to make sure it's a lot stronger so nothing could happen. And we clogged up all the holes right here so everything is good. And we got that ready, everything is ready to go. Now we're just waiting for it to dry in about 30 minutes and then we're gonna fill it up with water. So while this is drying in the next 30 minutes, we're gonna go back to the sump, going back to rinsing all the rocks and all that, follow me along. So all the lava rocks, we have it all nice and put into that corner right there. We have this plastic right there and that's where the filter, the suction is gonna suck up the water and go back into the tank. This right here, we're gonna put it right here so it's nice and even perfectly right there. We're gonna drill holes right inside of this container. We're gonna put the last bag of lava rocks inside of there and on top of the rocks, we're gonna put these bio balls. 
Yeah, so the water goes to there, goes through the rocks through here, goes through the container, goes through the lava rocks, and then all the clean water will be down into there, and it gets sucked back up and go right back into the tank. All right, so we got this all going. We're making some holes on this side, like I said, for the flow, so my buddy Damien's gonna start making some holes while I'm organizing all these rocks here. And we gotta clean another bag to put inside of here. Just follow along. Also, I added this cap right here, or this top of a container, so that the water has to fill up on this side and overflow into here. And then that's where all the clean water will be. So all the dirty water, you could say, will get stuck over here in the biological area. Every single time you're using lava rocks, you have to clean them through because they hold a very bloody red color. As you guys can see right behind us, it all comes out and it's all over the ground. And if you don't rinse off these rocks, it goes into your tank and then you're gonna have to do, redo your whole tank and it's horrible. You gotta make sure you clean all your rocks for about 15 to 30 minutes before you start making your sump. So that's what we're doing now, cleaning all these up. I've already cleaned all the other ones, so that's why those are already in there. All right, so now that we have all the holes inside of this container, we're gonna drop this down right into here, nice and even. We're gonna get all those lava rocks and I'm gonna dump them. All these lava rocks are going inside of here. That's one bag of lava rocks. And then these guys right here are gonna go inside of here just as well. And that's gonna be the second layer. I'm probably gonna use this also to put, actually I'm probably gonna leave it just like that you guys. I think that's gonna be my best bet. So it's very, it has levels and it's all gonna get really clean. It's gonna be a really, really good sump because the fish that we're putting inside this tank create a lot of ammonia. If you guys know what kind of fish I'm talking about, they're all, they look like a disc. So if you guys wanna put that in the comments and let me know what you guys think. Cool. All right, Damien, there are more holes to do. Yeah, boom, good work, let's get it. So I forgot, this piece right here, so this is gonna get dumped in here, ready? There you go. So now we got all those bio balls in there, and then above the bio balls on top of that, we're getting a big square piece of floss. I have to go purchase that, I don't have that right now. So the piece of floss will go right here on top of that, so when the water comes through on the overflow, it'll go right into there, catch all the little pieces of debris and everything, and you, what we do with that piece right there, probably every two weeks, you take out the floss, throw it away, and put a brand new piece on there. And then goes through the rocks, through those holes, goes through there, as you guys saw, goes through all the rocks that are down underneath there, goes over that white container, into there, clean water, reverse, right back over. And that's the way that I like to make my sums the cheap way. This is probably about $150 with the filter, and you can make these at home, and they're fun, and it takes a little bit of time, a little bit of cleaning, get your hands a little dirty, but, this is for monster fish. All right, as you guys see, we have about uh, 14 pallets of river rock, rock. I have no idea. I think they took half a mountain somewhere. And um, yeah, look at this, you guys. We have a lot of rock. Greg Woodstock will be coming next week, you guys, to so put those post notifications on because all the YouTubers coming over and we're making a massive pond in front of my house. It's gonna be freaking awesome. I cannot wait. We're gonna have some big koi that we're gonna to put in there. And now we're going to be aquascaped. Well, not yet, but we're going to be aqu aquascaped. And it's going to be awesome, you guys. And yeah, I just wanted to update you guys with all these amazing rocks that are here. And it's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be really fun. Yeah. Uh, so I wanted to buy this one with wheels because this is a lot of rocks. And it's a big tub, so it's a lot easier to move it around instead of lifting it around the yard and stuff like that. Even though it's not moving anywhere. It's going to stay inside of the house. But I'm going to bring it next to here because it's going into the front yard front of the house, inside of the house. There we go, I'm gonna show you guys the filter that's gonna go inside of it. I got this filter right here. It does 650 gallons every, a little less than an hour, it says. I think that's good, 300 gallons. So 600 gallons, that's twice the size every hour. It's not bad at all. So set this thing in, going right there. Where's my top? There's my top right here, piece right here. Screw that in right there. And then this bad girl goes right into there. 
the cord outside so it's ready to go and this is screwed into there and you guys will see it's all getting put together and i'm using this little beautiful attachment right here so this piece right here is going to go over here right here for the water wheel to pour out into two different directions have a very nice flow water all the clean water be over here and then i'm gonna have obviously one going that way one going that way so the water push that way and push back that way and then the water comes all the way over here overflows into here back down recycles and reverses and does its thing of aquarium with a it does its thing and it recycles perfectly and all the water will get cleaned inside that homemade sump all right so this is where the 350 gallon tank will be put placed on this giant stand the foam will be placed here the tank will be on top of that and the sump that is right here will be underneath the tank so you won't be able to see anything we'll have a full-on skirt around here so that you won't be able to see what's underneath the tank so it'll look all good for the videos and for the eye for everybody that's walking in and out and it look good just to see the tank so yeah let's get this sump and put this underneath so damon you can help me real quick and just grab this one two god this thing is heavy Ready? go all right perfect i knew it was gonna fit it's just getting it in there we got it ready to go all right you guys so we got everything done that i needed to get done for the tank so now what i would like to do is let this sit for about 24 hours so we're going to turn on the hose put the hose inside of here and let it fill up pretty much to the whole top and let it sit for 24 hours and while that's happening all the silicone the smells the toxins and everything that's in there will be sitting in there. I know the water is staying. I'm gonna drain the whole entire thing. Hopefully there's no leaks, nothing's wrong with it. And then we will be good. Ready? Moment of truth, you guys. There she goes. So just fill her up all the way to the top. And I hope you guys have been enjoying this video, learned something from this video. It's a lot of informational things here. And we're gonna be doing a lot more of these because I have a lot more tanks that are planned in the future and bigger tanks and bigger ponds and all different types of sorts of freaking thingies because these fish that are coming inside of here will be one day about the size of this whole entire tank. So um, they can't stay in here for that long. So maybe about uh, six to eight months and then kicked out into another tank and we don't get rid of fish around here. We just keep them until they get to full size. So what I'm gonna do right now is just get real close and look underneath and all the holes that we clogged up, I wanna see and make sure that there is no drips because a drip inside the house would not be good and yeah my mom wouldn't really like that too much so that's what I'm doing right now and as you guys see it's already almost the whole bottom so I'm just gonna let it go all the way to the top because with all the pressure I just just in case it breaks that would not be good 350 gallons in the house popping some expensive fish are going here also and I don't want to lose a fish and you know what I I'm putting my hippo inside the water we're right here <laughs> All right, you guys, it's not even halfway yet, but I know that the water is doing very well. I'm gonna keep on filling it up. I hope you guys are enjoying this video here on the ranch. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. Make sure you guys put in the comments what fish you guys think are coming inside of this awesome tank right here. More to come, put those post notifications on, and I will see you guys in the upcoming video.